on any expectations of winning. But now that his video is doing so well, he's had to rethink everything. Stephen Cresswell has been making videos and posting them on YouTube for a little over a year now. When he found out about the Expat Bridges What Would You Do video contest, he didn't think twice about entering his unique video. Right. This is my beginning. Look at me. I look kind of confused. Typical. Some say I'm confusing you today. But look, I want people to know that video came from my heart and that I, I did my best on it. What is unique about my video is that it was had a very positive message. A lot of other videos were quite depressing, and that's not the route that I wanted to go with mine. To be eligible for the contest, competitors had to make a video about what they would do if they could do their life over. Steven's video, Rethink Everything, is up against ten others. That's for sure. And I would have asked my mother for makeup advice before it was too late. I should have avoided my dad's trumpet concerts. And school photos? Well... Let's just say they weren't pretty. In my video, I go back to the very beginning. I open up the baby book and take a humorous look at some things I would change. And then after that, I go to more modern day and I talk about more important things. Currently, his video is in first place. Not bad for the only Canadian left in the competition. But that could change at any time with his nearest competitor only 1% behind. Nonetheless, Cresswell is amazed at all the support. I've actually been shocked at the amount of support I got from my family and from the school and like friends and friends of friends. Like even my dentist voted for me. Like it's been crazy and I'm so thankful for that. The top video will bring home $2,500 and if Stephen wins, he has big plans for the money. That would be really helpful in going to school next year for sure. To vote for XHAP Bridges What Would You Do video contest, go to bridges.com slash video and follow the links. But you'll have to hurry as voting ends midnight Friday, January 15th. And even though we can't turn back time, we can promise you haven't seen The Last of Us quite yet.